It's another Mate here with teacher Jenny. Join me for another topic. This time we're talking about limits of algebraic functions. And this is a part two video in which we are going to talk about how to find a limit using factoring. So the first example here is the limit of x squared minus 4 over x minus 2 as your x approaches to 2. If we are going to simply substitute this one, try to substitute this we've got your 2 squared minus 4 over 2 minus 2 in which this would lead to a 4 minus 4 over 2 minus 2 and this is a 0 over 0 now in case for rational functions to become a 0 over 0 once you find the limit using the substitution we will do something about our function so that something might be a factoring so we might factor our functions I mean our function involved so here we've got the limit of x squared minus 4 this is the difference of two perfect square binomial so we are going to simply get the factor of that one by simply getting the square root of the first term that's an x and we write an x here and then this is with a minus and a plus, or vice versa. You can start with a plus and then a minus after. And then we get the square root of the second term. Square root of 4 is a 2. And so with this one, we write a 2. And then we copy over x minus 2 as your x approaches to 2. So if you try to look at this, we can cancel that one and that one. So we are now left with the limit of your x plus 2 as your x approaches to 2. So this time after cancellation, we can simply plug in or substitute. So we've got here 2 plus 2. That will be equivalent to a4. So the limit of your x squared minus 4 over x minus 2 as your x approaches to 2 is a 4. So let us have another example here. So we've got x squared minus 25 over limit of x squared minus 25 over uh, x squared minus 4x minus 5 as your x approaches 5. So if you try to look at this, if you try to plug in or use the substitution, you have there 5 squared minus 25 over uh, x squared. x here is 5 squared minus 4 times your x, which is 5 minus 5. And then simply find that one, this is 25 at the top, minus 25 over 5 squared is 25 minus 4 times 5 is 20 minus 5. This will be equivalent to a 0 over 25 minus 20, that's a 5 minus 5 is a 0. So this means that we need to do something on the function there so that we can find our limit on that one so we have limit of your x squared minus 25 we can factor that one as we've got two factors we get the square root of your x squared that's an x and then of course we have a plus minus or vice versa minus plus and then square root of 25 that's a 5 and so it is now let's go to the bottom part we've got x squared minus 4x minus 5 this can be factored out because this is trinomial. We can factor that one out by simply uh, getting this one or considering this one as our product of the factors. And then this sum here is the sum of the factors. So let's now find out the factors for negative 5 in a manner that we can get or we can add it up so that we can find a sum which is a negative 4. Since our product is negative 5, we expect that the factors are with different signs. Now, we can cut down our, our trial and error by simply looking at the sum because the sign of the sum there will be following that one uh, for, as the sign of the bigger factor because once you add up a bigger negative to a smaller positive, we will be having a result which is a negative. So that is why... In order for us to cut it down, we base the bigger factor to the sign of the middle, I mean to the sign of the sum, or the middle term, of course. So here, since we have negative 5, so we can have negative 5 times 1 
in which once we add it up, negative 5 plus 1, that is equal to a negative 4. So since that satisfies our condition there that the product is negative 5 and the sum is negative 4, so those are part of the factors. So factoring this one, so we have now the square root of your x squared, that's an x. And then we attach the factors here that we found. This is negative 5, so that should be a minus 5. And then we have a positive 1, so that should be a plus 1. As your x approaches 5. So we can now cancel this one and that one. So we are left with a limit of your x plus 5 over x plus 1 as your x approaches 5. So this time, since we're done with the cancellation, so we will now do direct substitution here. So your x is 5 plus 5 over, we've got an x, which is 5 plus 1. This is equal to 5 plus 5, that's 10, over 5 plus 1, which is a 6. We can reduce this one because common factor here is 2. We are going to divide this by 2, and so with this one by 2, so the final answer there is 5 over uh, 3. Because 10 divided by 2, that's 5. 6 divided by 2, that's 3. So that is now our limit for that particular function. So let us now go for the last problem. We have here the limit of x squared plus x minus 6 over x plus 3 as your limit approaches, as your x approaches 3. So this time we could try substitution. So this will be now 3 squared plus 3 minus 6 over 3 plus 3. This is now equal to 3 squared is 9 plus 3 minus 6 over 3 plus 3 is a 6. This will be equal to 12 minus 6 over 6. This is equal to 6 over 6 or that is equal to 1. Now this last example, this would somehow let me to, allow me to remind you that not everything under rational fraction would be a, or we will be obtaining a zero over zero in there. So that is why whether you wanted to factor it out directly, you better first check whether you you will be obtaining through a direct substitution a zero over, over zero before you factor it out because that might be adding some of the steps that you will be requiring to do the limit here. But if you try to look at that, this particular problem here, it really doesn't, uh, you will not be getting a result which is a zero over zero once you do the direct substitution. So this would somehow tell you that it will be better for you to check first by the direct substitution whether you will be arriving at a zero over zero before you factor it out. Okay, so again, this is your teacher Jenny saying good luck on your uh, daily life and so with your challenges. So I hope that you will have to fight and fight and keep fighting because it will end soon. Okay.